1999, a Canadian cryptographer was analyzing a routine Microsoft Windows update when he found something strange buried in the code. It was a digital key, a cryptographic key, and what was his name? NSA key. Now you may not know what a key like this does, but it's basically like a master signature that tells Windows which software can be trusted and which can't. So why was there a second key, apparently belonging to the National Security Agency? And why has Microsoft never said a word about it? Unless they weren't supposed to. It's the summer of 1999. Andrew Fernandez is a respected cryptographer working at a security firm called Cryptonym. On a quiet afternoon, he's digging through the Windows NT Service Pack 5 update. It's just another day in the life of a security researcher. He's trying to better understand how Microsoft digitally signs and verifies software in the operating system itself. Now normally, there's only one trusted key built into the operating system, and that would be Microsoft's owned key. But Andrew sees two. One is the standard Microsoft key, the second is labeled NSA key. And it's real. It's active. And it could, at least theoretically, be used to install software silently, bypassing all the usual checks and warnings. In other words, it could be a back door. And it looks like the NSA has the key. 